And mom and dad send their love. Thanks. I gotta get up there and see him. Hey, so Jimmy, how is your Buddhist practice going? Well, I have to say, things are going pretty darn good. Awesome. So I took your advice and I chanted for the happiness of the people that I was having problems with at work. Wasn't easy, but I did it. And you know, things just smoothed right out. It was great. And I actually ended up shaking hands with that guy that I almost got with this fight with. Wow, congratulations. That's a real victory. That's the way I'm seeing it too, but I haven't told you the best part. I'm all ears. I got transferred to a different department and I got a raise. Nice. In Buddhist terms, that is called turning poison into medicine. What do you mean? Well, when you started having problems with those people at work, it caused you to chant a lot, right? Yup, I took your advice and I did just that. That's the way it works, Jimmy. When something causes you to chant a lot and very passionately, whether it's something that you passionately want or something that you passionately don't want, something, that, something good is gonna come out of all that passionate chanting, so to speak. Well, I can't argue with that because that's exactly what happened. Actually, something like very similar happened to me, um, you know, way back in the day. Oh yeah, what happened? Well, when my kids were really young and I was going through a lot of stuff with my ex, they would, their hyper little kid energy would just push me over the edge because I was already so stressed out. And unfortunately, I'm really ashamed to say it, but I would chant, I would, um, not chant, I would yell at them in a very ugly fashion. And then I would just feel like crap after that for you know, being such a jerk. Bummer. Yeah, it was. But something very interesting started happening. It was after my divorce, and it was the first couple summers that the kids came to stay with me. And a couple of weeks before they would, you know, were due to arrive, I would start having problems with people at work and it got really intense and it caused me to chant a lot of Daimoku, like hours and hours of Daimoku just to sort of be able to go back to work and face the situation that I was in. Wow, that sounds like what I just went through. You didn't get a raise, did you? No, I didn't get a raise, but I got something better. So, the first time that it happened, they came to visit me, and I never lost my temper again. I would get mad here and there, and, but I would never go off on them and yell like I had been doing before. And it was like all that Daimoku and that situation that I went through at work was sort of training me to like be able to handle their the stress that they could bring out of me. And after that first time that it happened, that first summer they came, dealing with them was just a piece of cake after going through the situation at work. Wow, Jack, you never told me that before. That's really cool. Thanks.